So those of us who cover politics, the White House as well, woke up to an email today that came from the White House spokesperson who handles the legal matters. One of the headlines in that email to basically all media here, memo to editorial leadership at U.S. news media organizations. The White House writing in that memo in bold, quote, it's time for the media to ramp up its scrutiny of House Republicans for opening an impeachment inquiry based on lies. News Nation's Chris Steyerwalt joining us now. Uh, Chris, I believe you're out in Chicago uh, for the uh, town hall tonight with the Vice President Mike Pence. Um, you know, we woke up to this and the White House is basically telling reporters, do a better job. Is, 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 that, their, is that their role? Well, I mean, people got to say something. Uh, I, when <laughs> Donald Trump was getting impeached twice, uh, I'm sure that they did not have favorable uh, coverage for the press. And uh, we're big boys and big girls. We can handle uh, some reproof from uh, the embattled president who's struggling in his own party. And obviously, uh, Republicans aren't the only ones that benefit from making the press the enemy. Democrats have done it before. And voters don't hold us in particularly high esteem. So taking a swipe at the press uh, probably is good politics. Here was uh, the press secretary, Karine Jean-Pierre, friend of the show, Alex Gangitano, in the White House press briefing earlier today. Asked her about it. Get your reaction. Uh, talk more on the other side. I'm going to leave that to the White House counsel uh, for my colleague who sent that, that uh, memo. Uh, just laid out really uh, kind of specifically as to how we see uh, this process has moved forward, how there is no evidence. Uh, it's not even coming from us. It's coming from Republicans uh, in, in, in Congress. We've been very clear about that. She got press, Chris. It was basically a no comment. What should their strategy be? Because they, they weren't on television yesterday. They didn't have a briefing. And then they fired off this email. I think if I, if I were a Democrat, uh, I would want as much attention on the Republicans and this impeachment uh, as possible. I think this is great for uh, the, the experience in, with impeachments in recent political history, Bill Clinton, Donald Trump, and I assume with Joe Biden. Uh, it's helpful to the incumbent being impeached. Uh, it makes the other side look bad. And I, I wouldn't want to interrupt the narrative. I'd want to say, get Marjorie Taylor Greene out there, make sure that we're focusing on what Republicans are saying today, because that probably helps Joe Biden. Mick, uh, here's what I don't get about this. Maybe Chris can help me on this. I don't understand why they put it in writing. This wasn't aimed at the Fox News of the world that are right of center. It wasn't aimed at News Nation, which is right smack down, down the middle. This is aimed at the folks who lean left. Half the people who work there used to work for a Democrat administration. Anyway, Jen Psaki, for goodness sakes, works at MSNBC. Why not just pick up the phone and make the call? Why put it in writing? And they get clearly the intended to have it leak. And I, I'll say my job, you know, in press advance was to work with the networks on their coverage. And one of the things I was most proud about was that I could never direct them what to do because there is freedom of the press and it is critical. I didn't like during the Trump administration that there was more and more right wing funded by right wing organizations literally asking planted questions because I want all of our press to but be their skeptical. their credibility has gone down as a result of that. Yes. And the CBS's yeah. of the world, their credibility will go down because of this. I can imagine yeah. they're not happy about this. I'd be curious to know if you heard anything today from your colleagues mm. from the other networks. Well, look, not from the other networks, but clearly this was brought up in the briefing room today, right? And as a, as a journalist, and those of us who are down the middle, you're not taking directions from the White House. No. Not yeah. when you're there, not when administration right. is there, you're, you're, you're doing your job. Well, Chris made a good point, which is the narrative is already where you want it to be. You're letting Marjorie Taylor Greene take front of center stage, Matt Gates take center stage. Why would you do something that interrupts that narrative? Because right. instead of talking about those things, we're talking about some memo that was idiotic to send out. All right. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.